Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to the Ingleside Public Library Virtual After School Program. So, as you can see, we changed the background. And though it looks like it was designed by a child, it was designed by yours truly. So I just want to say thank you for joining us again this year, and let's get started. So, I know what you're probably thinking to yourself. Hey, Andy, what are we going to be starting off this year's Ingleside Public Library Virtual After School Program? Or as I'm going to continue to call it, the IPLAFS with this year. Well, that's simple, boys and girls. We're going to be doing Pet Rocks. Now, I know what you're thinking. You uh, may need to contain your excitement. You're thinking, wow, a Pet Rock. <laughs> Please, my parents played with Pet Rocks. Well, let me tell you a little bit of something, kid. These are not going to be your daddy's pet rock or your mommy's pet rock. You see, when I was a lot younger, I had a pet rock myself. We were the best of friends. We went everywhere. Until one day, I left the window open and went to go get something to eat. And then when I came back, my pet rock had run away. I never found it. Anyway, I was a lot easier to impress in my early 20s. So, now we're going to show you guys how you can make your very own pet rock. So, to start, you will need a rock. You can find this in the wild, or perhaps you already have a pet that you just want to customize. That's not my call to make. Next, you will need glue of some sort. So I've decided I'm going to use a liquid glue this time. You will need paint of various colors. You will need a container of water so that you may put the soiled brush in to clean it. You will need pipe cleaners. So, kind of like these. You will need paint brushes. And you will also need googly eyes. Alright, boys and girls. So, let's get started. Okay, so to start off, you're going to want to take your rock and you're going to want to wash it. Uh, you're going to want to rinse it a little bit, scrub it, get any dirt off, try to make it as clean as you possibly can. Um, then you're going to let them dry for a little bit. Uh, afterwards, you can start with the first step. So you are going to choose your color of paint. Uh, you can have your paint in little cups, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use this thingy to put the paint in. Alright kids, so we are back. So as you can see here, I have my paint all laid out. So we're just going to go ahead and start by getting our brush. and getting paint on it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose pink and I'm just going to start painting my rock. I might have made a mistake by getting the brush wet first. So we will see. So we're going to go ahead and put a small layer on it the rock, we're going to give it time to dry, and then we're going to keep putting more layers until it's just a solid color. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to skip ahead with you guys through the magic of time travel known as video editing. And when we meet again, I will have gone over this several times with a few different layers of paint. Between each layer, I'll be letting it dry, and you guys will be able to see a rock of a more solid color. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Okay, boys and girls, so as you can see, I have painted my rock. Next, all you have to do is grab the eyes that you are going to give your rock, glue them on. So just carefully apply the glue. And place down the eye. So now I've gone and placed down the eyes, so we're going to take them. So now I've gone and placed down the eyes, so we're going to go ahead and take a moment to let them dry. All right, boys and girls, so as you can see, here is my pet rock. So we're going to go ahead and add more glue. I've already cut the pipe cleaner. I'm going to make uh, into ears and bend it into shape. So now all we have to do is glue them on. And we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, boys and girls, sorry about the little time skip, but here is my rock. They are finished. As you can tell, uh, the ears are a little bit off center and the eye has been moved around, but that is all you have to do uh, to make your pet rock. Of course, you just paint it and uh, if you want to, you can add different spots. Personally, I like the color pink, so I'm leaving mine pink. Um, and yeah, now you have a pet rock. And Hello, boys and girls. So, I just realized I made a very big mistake. I took out two more paint colors than I, need, uh, than I needed to if I was just going to uh, make my rock pink. And it does look a little boring if it's just pink. So we're gonna go ahead and do our best to fix that. So just thought I'd point that out and that will explain what I'm going to do next. All right, so as you can see, I've kind of given the blue a little bit of time to dry. So I'm gonna go ahead, get another paintbrush. And I'm going to dip it into the green and I am going to use the green to paint a design on it. You don't need to just paint something one color. You can give it a design if you want to. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to decorate your rock. Uh, after all, it is your pet. So it seems I messed up here. So. As you can see, it now just has a green mouth. I was trying to make a mustache and I messed that up. So we're gonna go ahead and call that a mouth. So that is how, well, I need to go and give this a little bit of time to dry. Uh, perhaps I can apply this. Let me try to correct it a little bit. There it is. There is a good mouth for, for my pet rock. So I'm just gonna put this to the side and let it dry. So boys and girls, I know it wasn't much, but uh, I thought we should probably take things a little bit slow on the reintroduction of our Ingleside Public Library virtual after school program. And I wanna thank you all so much for joining us. So now that your pet rock is finished, you can take your pet rock any place pet rocks like to go. Hiking, flying, swimming. I'd be careful if less swimming. If left unattended for about like 10,000 years, you know, really small span of time. Uh, pet rocks like to erode after all that. So just, just be a little bit careful. But yeah. Um, Thank you all so much for joining us, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, thank you guys, and just um, 
ha have a nice week. Uh, see you again next time. Bye. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. Sorry for the outfit change a little bit. Um, so we've gone and mixed a few things up. Uh, the rock is now, now has its ears glued onto the back um, of it. So it has ears, they're a little crooked. As you can see, the one of the eyes had to be moved, but my rock is all pink. So to alleviate that, we are now going to use the two other colors. So since I chose green and blue for my other colors, I'm going to go ahead and take a paintbrush. Let me move that camera. I don't know if that's a little bit better. All right, here's the paint. Okay. And we are going to take the brush and wet it. dip it in the paint again. All right. And remember to dip your paintbrush in water afterwards. I have a little thing of water off to my side. Um, and that is just so you don't end up uh, staining your brush. So as you can see here, this is what my rock looks like now. So I'm going to go give it some time to dry and then we can apply the green to it. <laughs> 